What's going on, Strikers? It's your boy Strike, and welcome to 3D Aim Trader. So currently, I'm using my shitty microphone. Well, technically, I'm not using any microphone. It's only for my phone. So, welcome to 3D Aim Trader. As the name suggests, it's an aim training app that you can use to get better at FPS games. So, currently, the game is pretty solid. Honestly, there's a few optimization problems here and there but it's only been released on January 28th it's pretty good it's it's lacking recognition it's underrated that you can call it so it's pretty much that if you get more it gets if it gets more recognition developers can probably update it and also the game is actually a mobile port it's a website on PC you can try it there. I'll have a link the the website on the description. So now let's move on to the settings. Now here we are at our settings. So as you can see, this, this is pretty much where you can change your field view, sensitivity, and the clear view. You know the drill, of course. I do hope that they change or add more features to this part of the app since it lacks a lot of features at the moment but that's pretty understandable since it's only been released pretty early or probably last month as you could say so anyways we could now move on to the controls or wait controls wait I know this I, I know is that just now choose controls okay that's that's the one that's one type over there. So here we can we have two options. You can either choose tap to shoot or up shoot and right aim. I don't really know how to label these ones, but for me personally, I picked the right option. But you can switch between where you can put the shoot buttons are or the side where you can shoot. It's either right side or left side. Same goes for the aim button. Now. Let's move on to the game modes. And now for our training scenarios, we have clicking, flicking, tracking, strafe aiming, and survival. Unfortunately, we don't have strafe aiming and survival yet, so we still have clicking, flicking, and tracking. I really do hope that they actually add strafe aiming and survival to the next updates. So now let's move on to the scenarios. Let's start with clicking. Clicking, we have the goalkeeper, bounce, and go figure. Now, for flicking, we have the humanoid and fixed targets. For tracking, we have humanoid targets for 90 degree angles and eagle's nest for 360 degree angles. You can choose whether that's horizontally or vertically. Now, on to the gameplay. And that is it for the video. For now, the game may be graphically inadequate, but it could still really help a lot, especially on mobile devices. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and that's that. Strike out.